Both teams two and two in league play as we get started here this afternoon. This Austin P Club checks in at nine and 13. Lifts that one the other way, carrying towards the wall and gone. Lyle Miller Green getting the governors on the board here early in the first kind of role. He may not have had his best stuff on the mound yesterday, but he gets the chance of being an impact player today, hitting as a DH. 2-0 pitch. Popped up in a shallow right. Nathan Keeter called off Braden Horton. High six earned runs. That ball ripped to left. Underneath it is Kepley. Sack fly for Gazdar. And it's 2-0 Austin P. You know, let the players worry about the nicknames. Ray Betts. Brown ball left side. Brown, the shortstop. Yesterday, after seven innings, Brown ball right side. Second baseman, Gazdar cannot come up with it. Two on for Liberty, nobody out. And three hill, you're one. That next pitch gets by Conley. And it's going to be a bases loaded walk. It's just like, hey, let's minimize some damage. Let's just fill up the zone and be competitive. And that just did miss. You saw Conley, the catcher. Another payoff. Brown ball left side, into the hole for a hit. In to score Foster. Horton will make the turn. Throw home is not in time. As it skips away from Conley, the catcher, the runners will move up. Started the last two out there. Brown ball is going to be fair at first. Throw home, not in time. And Nathan Keeter. At the plate, first pitch swinging, lining the left center field and deep. How far will it carry? All the way. That ball was absolutely crushed by Nathan Keeter. Right fielder for Austin B. Hard shot to the shortstop, Lazaro. A little hot potato for Jake. And it even kind of bounced up. He has a chance to atone here. Circles around that one and has to eat it. Doubled his first time up, and he might have a home run here. Deep into left and out of here. Three-run home run, and they almost went around each other at first base. That was close. Martin came close to passing Clayton Gray at first base. If we, I don't know if you have a camera on that shot, but that came awfully close there. Well, it looks so, there, Martin. I mean, Martin hit first, so they were maybe seeing if he missed first, right. and just shuffled by, because then I think he ran a second. But you could see his foot hit first. Yeah. There. I mean, hats off to Martin there, because like you said, Zach, you're in the the uh, home run shot and there. Homered what seems like ages ago in this game back in the first. Liberty scored eight in the first. They sent 13 to the plate. Yeah, so remember, Keeter hit a home run. He kind of looks oh, at the yeah. dugout, yeah. right, in, in his excitement. And so they're trying to talk and see if that one was intentional or not because that was definitely a message that Austin P did not like. Jackie Robinson left with an injury. And so this is the first batter for Jula. I could understand. And they are going to throw Jula out of the game. Wow. I can understand the angst from both sides. Yes. If it's going to happen, it happens right after the pitch. And right. not, OK, let's talk about it. Not and a then an emphatic ejection? Right. I don't know about that. Yeah, that is that is crazy. But so, as Jula goes, he's a senior. I mean, you don't usually miss like that in that spot. So I don't know. Obviously, Jula, he's he's uh, irate, acting like it wasn't on purpose. But, but if it's going to happen right after the pitch, it's got to be right after the pitch. OK, that's my that's my deal. So sure. But the, the fact Jula that it was his first time back, you know, up right again. Yeah, I don't know. And it was the first pitch of the bat, like you said, motions are high. And I mean, you got a senior guy who's been out there in these scenarios before. Location looked like it was supposed to be right down the middle, and it was kind of a headshot. So warning, okay, I see both sides of it. Yeah. Warning, okay, don't do it again. Right. But if the ejection's going to come, which it did, 
then that should have come right after that pitch. And like you're saying, if you're not going to give a warning, that's right. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Right. Typically, you give a warning first, saying, yeah. "Hey, like I thought that's what they were meeting about. They're going to issue a warning to both sides, but to throw them out abruptly." Yeah. Yes, you are right about that, Alan. Uh, if there's a meeting, there should be a warning there, right? Because then straight to the ejection, that is tough. That puts Austin P in a pickle here. I mean, nobody was warming up in the bullpen. It happened so abruptly. Now you got to find somebody. And now they're warming up another catcher. Back in the first, Nathan Keeter homered. Had some things to say, crossing home plate. Little look at the Austin P dugout. And now fast forward here to the third. Peyton Jula throwing high and tight. And then the umpires talk about it. And they threw the catcher out too. And he's just enjoying his soda pop right now. Did they throw everybody out? <laughs> well, I wonder if that's why Coach Fanning brought the team together, was kind of giving them some collective momentum as he, they may have thrown him out of the game. And I think that's why he maybe had a longer conversation. You see him there with the backpack. He's taking the Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Go get him, boys. Crazy. Moving from the midweek, ground ball left side, and Gus Freeman who just came into the game on that hit. If we can see him going up the first baseline, yelling at his teammates. Eight holdovers. And a walk to Barksdale. Makes way more sense. Here's Gray, the bunt. Keeter at second. Not in time. Just can't say enough. Liner into right. That'll fall in front of the right fielder, Troyer. They're playing base to base. And to score from third is Freeman, who started the rally. Next pitch, line drive to left. Base hit. Two runs are going to score. Kepley's throw home is going to be not in time. Good job by Foster. Let that one ride. Taylor Grubbs. Her ball lifted to left. Carrying at the wall. Kepley runs out of room. Rerun bomb for Brown and Austin P has climbed all the way back in at 11 to 8. They take the lead back. You talk about stepping up in a big time situation. Watch Jula go to work and then Ampu as he delivers one to Foster. It is carrying deep to right and it is out of here. Cam Foster. Big home run to pull the Flames within two. Run of the year for the sophomore from Douglasville, Georgia. And walks on four straight here. Other stops at Crowder College and Arkansas as he rifles one into right center field. That'll split the gap. And a ground rule double. And look out. I feel like, when, especially when Cole's at his best, is when he's throwing a lot of off speed pitches for strikes in the strike zone. Because when you're not doing that as a hitter, you can get kind of comfortable. 2-1 pitch, sent to center field. Jalen Guy is up, and he runs out of room. Dead center field for Gazdar. Second home run of the year. To get it over the wall, not the batter's eye. Ground ball, third base side inside the bag. Cam Foster says no way was that a fair ball. Gazdar stands up at second. For him earlier in the game, that ball gets away from three. Hillier and Gazdar will score. And the celebration continues for Austin P. I love that. <laughs> um, I was seven. Base hit for three Hillier. Time called. And is that a pitch clock? That was a pitch clock. Yeah, that's pitch what he's clock. saying. How Time. about that? Wow. 
Three one Root into right field a base hit Hillier making the turn he will score. Foster goes to third Braden to Horton. Continuing. And you see Lazaro playing well this year. RBI single in to score. 3 1. Fastball low, loads the bases. 1 1. This one's hit to left and deep, and we are tied. Grand slam for Keeter. 15 15. Oh my goodness. What a swing of the bat by Nathan Keeter right there. Base is loaded. It's what you dream of late in the game. You've been battling back, scratching and clawing, and he got all of that one sent it over the left field bullpen. Keeter. Oh my goodness. Have a day. Look at him. I don't know how seven awesome RBIs is. for Keeter, two home runs. Oh my I don't know how awesome P is going to feel about that one. They'll pitch up high, lead off batter aboard, and Nathan Barksdale position here. So we'll see what Gray does here. Pops it up, and three Hillier makes the catch. One away. One two. Runner breaks. Balls in the dirt. Two two. Got him swinging. And a big strikeout for Jeremy Beeman. And now Garrett Martin will be intentionally walked. 1 0 pitch. Checked him up. Got a ray from Hillier. Runners move up to second and third. 3 1. Down low, ball four. 3 1. Ripped into right field to base hit. One will score. Throw in from Troyer. Cut off. Clutch. Two out, two run single for Harrison Brown. And Austin P seesaws back in front, 17 15. This game has been all about big guys stepping up in big moments. And here Harrison Brown is again. Ground ball right side, past a diving Horton. Another run will score. And they've got Brown now in a pickle. Throw home is on the money from Jake Lazaro. And now both teams got a chippy little bit here. It's 18-15. We're heading to the bottom of the ninth. The home plate umpire, Robert Healy, is out taking a look at this play that ended the top of the ninth. We've seen three ejections already uh, for Austin P. The head coach Roland Fanning has been ejected. That was all the way back in the third. And no harm, no foul, says Robert Healy. High fastball. Troyer doesn't chase many. Did that one. And allow the ball to drift back to you. Swing and a miss. Fastball 94. 0-2. Ground ball left side. Short hop. Voitek throws over. Stretched by Brown in time. And the Governors fight back to win game two of this series.